Hey everybody, Ivy Crazy here, and we're in my kitchen today because I want to try a little experiment. I want to know just how powerful the batteries that we use to fly our mini quads really are. But instead of going outside and flying that mini quad, well, I want to try to melt down metal. Specifically, these lead fishing sinkers. And we're going to do it with magnetism. So basically what I'm wondering is, is there enough power in these batteries, these are two 1054 cell tattoo batteries, do they contain enough power to liquefy this lead? Let me show you how it works. Okay, this is going to produce a whole lot of heat, so the first thing I'm going to need to do is cool it. And what I have is a pot full of water and a tube that runs down into my heating device. Okay, so here you see my lead sinkers inside the copper coil, which is going to be cooled when I start the siphon here. Back here we have a voltmeter showing that we have more or less a full charge on the batteries. So, and here we go with the power source, the two Tattoo 1050 LiPos. So let's start the siphon and see how it goes. Looks like we have water flow. So let's start the experiment. Okay, you can see immediately my voltage dropped, which means this thing is starting to work. And what's happening here is that this coil is producing a high frequency, high power magnetic field. And what that's going to do is induce opposite eddy currents within the lead, causing it to heat up. Now, my thought is that hopefully it produces enough power and produces enough heat in these eddy currents to liquefy it. It'll go through the funnel and hit the sink. And as you can see, well, they're at least starting to come together already. And we still have a lot of power in our battery. Wow, that's going a lot quicker than I expected. Here's the wild thing, this coil, that's fairly cool to the touch, so it's actually cooling that down. And while that's liquid, I'm not so sure it's going to go liquid enough to go through the funnel. Let's give it a couple seconds more and just see. Now I, now I know that's gonna be hot, so uh, a little bit of uh, protection here. Oh wow, look at that. Holy smokes. That's just... Well, it ate through my beaker. That's hot. Okay guys, so after the first round, this is what I've got. That burned right through my beaker, hit the bottom of the uh, sink, and became this wild blob. Obviously very liquid. Okay, it looks like I've got most of the lead stuff back in there. Let's restart the siphon. And resume. Well, you can already hear the, uh, the water that was left on that from when it hit the sink, you could hear it boiling off. And it's, wow, it's already melting down. Uh, my voltage has started to sink quite a bit. Uh, 24 volts is where I'm gonna have to shut this down, but it, it looks like it's going pretty well. Let's just uh, sit here and watch it go. Ever see metal boil? Look at that. That's incredible. Something's gonna break here in a second, I can tell. I can only imagine how hot this thing is, so uh, yeah, let's uh, get a little water in the sink to make sure this is gonna go good and cold and
Oh, voltage is dropping pretty quick. I think that's going to be the last batch that liquefies. There's still this little bit left. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be it as soon as that liquefies. That, that voltage is quite low. Well, maybe. Well, oh, we're at the bottom of the pack. That's it. That's it, guys. Let's let it hit 24 volts. Don't want to destroy the packs. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. What did we learn? We learned there's a whole lot of power in these packs. These packs weigh six ounces combined, and we just melted down 12 ounces worth of lead via magnetism. But it's a beautiful day outside, and that means I should go recharge these packs and burn them down the proper way in a mini quad. I might be crazy and keep them flying.